Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, I'm going to do a uh, bit of a different set of videos now. So, just like quick videos, show you how to make sense of the menu system and hopefully show you a few of the basics of what you can do with the G7P. So, first off, we're going to cover the system set menu. So, to access this, just press down on button Go to the one with controller, so it's the system menu. So, first options we have in here, language. You can just press on that, move it up and down, and that'll change your language for you. Then, the next one is we have idle alarm. So, this is how long you can leave it for before it's going to start beeping like crazy at you. So we've got 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 3 minutes, or off. I have mine set it off because it just gets annoying making the videos. The next menu is for setting the battery type that you're running from. So the options on this are AA. We've got 2S LiPo, in which you'd have to set your alarm levels. Then we've got Other. So if you set it to this one, you can then go to this menu and you can set the voltage of the battery that you're running off. So it'll know when the battery's flat, so it'll know when to alarm. I think for most of you, probably going to be running it on AA or on 2S LiPo. The next setting, we have LCD. So this is the contrast, if you like, of the LCD menu. And it, it's got quite a few settings on there, but I think 10 is the basic one. Next, we have LED. So you can turn your power LED on or off. Then if we go down, we've got sounds. So if you have it set on system and alarm, you'll get obviously your beeps and your alarm beeps. You can have it set on just alarm, so it won't make any noise when you're going through menus or anything. Or just system. So you can turn all your alarms off in one go, or you can have sounds off altogether. Then we have the volume for the beeps. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So you can go down to 20, and it'll go way up to 100. And then we're back to the uh, top of the system menu. The next one, we have calibration screen. So we can go into there, and this will calibrate the throttle VR2, which you need to make sure it's in center, and your steering. So basically, we press start on this, move your steering, full extent of travel, move your throttle, and then all way to brake, and then the little VR2 dial on the side. So for this one, you just move it all the way to its extremes and then back to center. Then when you back out, it will say calibration successful. Firmware update mode, we've covered this on the, uh, on the video on how to update it. Make sure your batteries are charged, then just move it to OK. But we're not going to put it into that mode yet. Factory. It'll do a factory reset on it, so it'll reset the controller completely. Um, on that one, you just press that, tap OK. But we're going to cancel out of that. Help. So you've got a QR code for manual. Or if you go to more, you'll get the Flyskies website and Facebook. And then the About menu will show you the controller type, the current firmware, when that firmware is from, your hardware revision, and the RF um, board update uh, hardware as well. So that covers the system menu. So hopefully you find this useful or entertaining or a bit of both, but uh, let's wrap this one up and I'll catch you guys again in the next one.